Hello everybody! Today I bring you two new tutorials that I truly hope will inspire you in your crafting, in your scrapbooking and in your art in general. So stay with me! For the first project you will need any sort of craft foam, glue, scissors and a transparent lead. This one for example belonged to this sort of ink pad so I took advantage of something that I was not using anymore. Start by cutting a smaller piece of the foam so it's easier and more practical to use. And then all you have to do is pretty much cut out the shape you want. Now if you want one single shape that's great. For this example I wanted a triangle pattern so I cut out different triangles with different sizes and once I had them all I applied glue on top of all of the lead. Now you can see this glue is white but it dries transparent so no problem. Then I started placing the triangles where I wanted them to be and I pretty much went freestyle and for that reason when I got to the end of the triangles I had cut out I figured I wanted two more so I just took my foam and cut two more triangles to fit perfectly on those corners and finishing that way my stamp. Once it was dry time to try it and look at this I absolutely love it and of course I ended up trying different shapes cutting them by hand always um, and so here you see me trying them once and twice both of them I just think these stamps are amazing and they're great because no one will have the exact same stamps as you so they are really one of a kind each of them now I've actually cheated on this one because I've used this small punch but the process was exactly the same and now you'll see me using it and I love it but not as much as I love these now as you can see these are much bigger leads they belong to I don't know cans of food um, and the process of creating this tree was the following I drew a tree now if you are not good at drawing you can just find a tree that you love on the internet and print the picture wow this was amazing. Then I just placed my drawing on top of the foam sheet and I secured it using tape. And I did all the cutting with an exacto knife. Now of course you could cut it with scissors if you prefer, if it's suitable. But there you go, I glued it and here you see me trying the stamp with a nice shade of light brown. And the result is what you see. Then it's time to do the lifts. Now I had previously stamped my image as I as you see right now and I started cutting small leaves. I cut as many as I wanted, I placed them on top of the stamped image exactly where I thought they looked great and what I did was I applied glue to all of the lead, as you can see it's kind of yellowish, and I simply turned it upside down and there you go. I had all the leaves glued on the lead. And how great is this? The whole project took me around half an hour. The second tutorial is all about foil. Now you need a base like a box or a piece of paper, whatever you want your surface to be. This is actually foil from the nails, the one you buy for the nails. And you also need scissors and double-sided tape. Now this is the basic technique. You cut out a little piece of double-sided tape, you glue it onto your surface, you take the other end off, you place the foil on top of it, you press it a little bit and ta-da! There you go. And now we can get creative. This is a larger double-sided tape and what we need here is a sort of a sandwich of adhesive. So you need the cover of the double-sided tape, the cover that is non-sticky, on both sides. So you can insert this in the punch without actually making it be glued all over. So you use your punch, there you go, I have my snowflake in here. and. 
I just took one of the protections off, I glued it on my surface, I took the other side and the technique is pretty much the same. Here I have a multicolor foil and the result is absolutely stunning in my opinion. You can use this with so many shapes. And you see the greatest thing is you can even use the negative. One, two, three and here you go. Look at this. Now this is for those of you who have this sort of glue pan. This is a Martha Stewart glue pan. You can pretty much draw anything you want, write anything you want on the surface you choose. As you can see I'm drawing a flower very roughly with just one hand because the other one was holding the camera and it looks blue but once it's dry it's completely transparent and it's sticky. So you just apply the foil and the process is the same. As soon as you apply a little pressure, you can see the shape of the flower. So you apply a little pressure and after a while, you just have a fabulous result. So there you go, two very easy and quite cheap ideas that will help you improve any of your works, your craftings or projects. I hope you've enjoyed this video and these new ideas and if you did please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.